Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge in our happy, happy, messy place. It is early. Oh, what day is today? Thursday. Yeah, Thursday morning. Oh, the world is crazy. It's cold, but it's going to be warm because we already had our winter two days ago. So we had our snow and our cold, and now we're back to 60s and 70s. So it just... Again, the weather's as crazy as the world. So grab your coffee. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We are going live. Um, I will be live with Miss Maggie White Friday night, which will be tomorrow. Let's see. <laughs> Third. What's tomorrow? Friday. Well, I know it's Friday. I'm trying to think of the date. Tuesday was the 3rd, Wednesday 4th, 5th, 6th. Oh my goodness. I can't do numbers, I guess, early in the morning. So the November 6th, my channel, Girl on the Ridge, um, let's say 7.30 Eastern Time. And we're going to do some bag, either they could be ephemera holders or little gifts. So we'll, I'm going to show you what you need. You're going to need... Either gusseted bags or non-gusseted. I don't want you guys to buy anything. It's just what you look around in your stash. There could be lunch bags. I'm just going to show you on these bags because they're easy to show. And I made one. This was inspired a little by, oh my God, Doreen at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. Got a little Robin Hauser. Robin, yeah. Dudley Hauser, a little of everybody, and then my own take on it. So this is like an accordion style um, holder, and they're fun. I do suggest, you can use glue, like a glue stick, but I like to use double stick tape. So I'm going to make that, and the cover is either a, again, don't go buying anything. It's a... You can even use a used one if you get one in the mail. This is a 12 by 9 yellow class envelope. If you don't have this, just use a piece of cardstock. This is what I grabbed. It's not cardstock, but it's um, regular paper. And if I use, let's see. Again, this is going to be, you know, using what's in our stash. Ah, don't go anywhere. Um, if I have, this is my little bag holder. Right, where's all my bags here? <sighs> I know I had a white bag. Let's see if I had the white bags. I mean, they don't have to be as wide as this, is what I was trying to get to. They can be, and they can be different sizes. And these are, are these gusseted? No. So you can have the white flat bags. If you don't have bags, make them. And that, you know, it'd be a little different style. So it's going to be any style you want. So just collect, say, six bags. If you don't have a bag, you make a bag. You take copy paper. And you glue it down like this. Or if you have the long one. I, I showed it in the other video. Okay, don't let me use this. Because it's one of my last pretty dye papers. Let me see if I can grab a regular piece of paper. You know, it's, it's like this. And this. I'm going to flip it over like this. I'm going to glue this down. And then you just cut the ends. Cut the back flap to, to get rid of the bulk. So, if you want to get ready by making some bags, and then there's your bag. And it'll just be, you know, folded like that. I mean, if you glue it, you're going to end up cutting it back open, but 
I don't want anybody to left behind because you don't have bags. Brown paper bags are probably your best bet if you don't have any of the fancy bags. And then the other thing we're going to make, again, it'll be, I made this for myself um, on our 35th anniversary in 2019. And I put it in my purse and I collected stuff from our trip. There's receipts from other antique shops. I did a little writing in our hotel. Um, and just throwing these together. These are really fun. And here you'll need some bags, odd bags, maybe some scrap paper. Throw some doilies in there. And that's all I got in there. But they're really cute and they're nice and squishy. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight things in there. And then you fold them in half, so it's double that. So we're going to make this little booklet. Again, it could be a nice little gift because you could put little, you know, the little candies in each little bag for a grandchild or something. So... Those are the things you're going to need for tomorrow night's live, or, yeah, Friday night's live with Maggie. Okay, now, and this is the paper I'm going to use, because I love it. This is Shabby Dabby Doo Dot Paris Bouquet. Send it over to me while well, I am on her design team, and I haven't used this yet. But it was really, really pretty. So I'm going to use it on my bags. Make a like a little set. So, isn't it gorgeous? It's um lilac and it's a little mauve, a little cream. I'm not sure if it's coming out right. The pictures, but it's really really pretty. <clears throat> so those are the <coughs> papers that I'm using to round night. Excuse me. Now I am got some requests for some more of these um, twine binding books. So I was just going to show you how I do a little of the... This one is going to be very heavily inked blue. And I figured I'll just show you if I'm doing that. Okay, they're already been all coffee stained. And I'm going to use a little of the... Chip sapphire, and I'm just gonna spray it again. That's why the and then as I'm lifting it up, this is um this time consuming all the all the grunginess. This is going to be, if I do a, like a blue Christmas, I think, in one of them. But you got to do every one. So it's like. And it, to me, I, I like the water because the water kind of drags the color in a little further sometimes. That's how I will. I'll tell you, yesterday, yeah, last night I went to go down the stairs and I missed the last two stairs totally. And I'm very careful. Well, <laughs> obviously not with my bifocals because I do have bifocals. And oh man, I'm hurting today. Oh dear. So be careful out there, peeps. <laughs> And then I'd like to hit it with this is my black soot. I'm gonna spray the water in there. I'm gonna use a little ever carefully on the ends. Because now it's wet, so you don't want to rip it. Let 
there. How's everyone doing? I know we're headed down for a lockdown. I can just see it. So I'm just hopefully getting prepared. <clears throat> Got my hair done yesterday. <laughs> well, I had a scheduled appointment, so. And, and yeah, obviously you can do this any color. But. So that's going to look really, really cool with the right with the right, um, whatever paper I decide to pick. We'll do one more. Let's try it. A music paper. This is a music paper, and I sewed a piece of parchment paper in the middle. water just kind of drags it in further because that's the that's what I'm looking for if you were just um, I'll show you something else let's see Here, let me go get them. I'll show you how I did the black. Um, see if I don't pick up around myself, I'm gonna just kill myself here. To, these I just made like I just hit the black and this I put on dry because I didn't want it to go in these are just the covers I think one of these are sold I think I, there's one more left but and then I hit the black on that with the handmade um cabinet cards so you can control your ink by the water distressed ink All right, so that's what I'm working on. I gotta go to work. Well, not work, but I gotta go meet somebody in a little bit. I'm probably gonna ice my shoulder. I'm just like a basket case right now. There. There, this is gonna be pretty. Yeah, because then I will get some kind of, um, let's see, say if I put, let's see. Um, just ink this up. Let me just sew this quick. Just kind of take what's off my table as far as the wet. I love this Tim Holtz glass. And just kind of I can dab that. Maybe not. But leave the white. There's just a little blue. Yeah, that's going to be pretty. So that's what I'm working on now. Along with that, I got... A custom order I'm still working on I'm having fun with and that is it for the moment so I will um 
I probably, well, I'll see you in the next video. I'm not sure when. I know I'll see you tomorrow night live. So see you soon, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.